Welcome to Inventing Things. So, I recently located this piano that I really just never thought about in my barn. And it was quite destroyed because a squirrel decided to build a nest in it. And if I insert the B-roll here, you'll see how bad the situation was. This is a player piano, so it used to have a bunch of tubes that would run everywhere, and the squirrel thought that was yummy, so the entire inside was completely coated in these little 7mm tubes, and I really couldn't fix the mechanism, so I decided I'm going to fix the actual piano itself and just get it playable, and potentially make some modifications of my own, even knowing it won't be a player piano anymore. Today, we're gonna to be fixing the actual keys of the piano because there is a bunch of keys that don't have any lever at the end of them to push the stickler to engage the action to hit, make the hammer hit the string. And that's a problem because unless you wanna make piano noises like this, then you, you kinda need all the mechanisms that I mentioned to work properly. So we're gonna do that and then later in another video or later in this video we're gonna start working on the hammers and figure out what's wrong with the rest of the piano. So let's start off with just dismantling the piano and getting it to where it looks like now. So I'll see you on the other side. Let's go. So I've been working on this thing for a while. Uh, I'm very, very slow in progress. I've been filling the pieces of wood with like wood filler and now I'm starting to 3D print parts for the arms that are actually chewed off by a rat. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take apart the bottom of the piano and I'm going to clean all that out because I haven't gotten to that yet because I was just focusing on the arms and the hammers for right now. But I'm going to see the situation down there. I know there's a lot of debris down there. We're gonna dismantle that and see what's going on down there. So yeah, let's, I'm gonna go spend a couple hours and do that. Pianos are heavy. That's what we're after. Let's <laughs> dirty jobs. Woo! Ugh. Ugh. My knees. What the goal is right now is to remove all of this crap we don't need. I know piano enthusiasts all around the world are gonna be like, oh no, he's destroying the player piano, but, but dude, it, it was destroyed anyways. I'm giving it a second life. Hey Google, how much do pianos weigh? <laughs> Okay, I am using this Delhelm's Rock Hard Water Putty. You can make it to about pancake batter, and then you can just make a mold out of it. These are fixed from chew marks, and I am 3D printing new end arm attachments for some that are like this. So we'll wait a few hours. We already have one done. Looks pretty decent. Maybe I'll stain it. Maybe I'll paint it pink. I don't know. Cut at an angle. I'm gonna drill in 10 millimeters 
and I'm putting a dowel between the 3D printed part and this, and then I'm putting super glue between the connection. The area I'm trying to work in right now is absolutely disgusting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up this area, I'm going to bring the piano out here so we have better angles, and I'm going to do some vacuuming, I'm going to pick up some of the straw, because this is no place to repair a piano. This is a disgusting mess of a bar. So, roll the time lapse. spots I need to sweep and I need to deep clean with the vacuum and then I'm gonna try to get the piano right side up that's gonna be fun I have a lot more moving around but I'm probably not gonna show that video because that's really boring excited for this. Yes, today is the day. So we are putting the keys dash arms back on the piano and we're gonna actually see if all of the keys hit the sticklers that are on the mechanism that actually hit the piano. So the action if you would. And we have 3D printed parts alongside wood filled parts. And this is my really my first time doing a lot of wood filling besides just little furniture pieces. So it's not the prettiest, but I'm gonna try to make them look better in the future. So let's stick them on and cue the time lapse now. Okay, now it's time to put the action on, which the action pushes all the hammers forward. So the keys work mostly. The 3D printing keys kind of have some issues, they're not coming up all the way, but I'll figure it out. I was able to make the 3D printed parts flush, all I had to do was sand the bottom side of these, and also there is a little piece of felt right here, and for one of these I just made a little temporary piece so that they're level. I think it's this one right here. I used a metal washer instead of felt, so I'm gonna probably 3D print or buy felt washers. Okay, now that the keys actually work and the keys are fixed, we can just check that off the list and we're one step closer to being able to actually modify this piano. And that's the goal after all fixing all of this and learning what we can about pianos so we can better modify the actual piano itself. 
we still have a lot of things to buy, a lot of things to fix, and I think I'm gonna do a bit of each because it's gonna be a little bit of R&D for all of the different parts. So I'm gonna start working on the hammers. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna buy them or I'm gonna make them my own. I'm going to see what I can do for the sticklers. I don't know if I'm gonna buy them or make them. It's the same situation. On the one hand, buying them is quicker, but on the other hand, it's kind of quite expensive from what I've seen. So if you see any uh, sticklers, they're these bottom pieces, and they're a decent price, maybe just send them in the comments or forward them to me on Instagram or uh, Twitter or my email is in the about page on the channel. So I'm going to end the video there because that's really all I, I have to offer for this video. So thanks for watching till the end of the video. I do, I do appreciate it so much. And this video has been just a blast to actually make. And I'm actually so excited to keep working on this and actually get to the phase where I can modify the piano some. I, th I really think it needs tuning once this is all over, but I'll worry about that when it happens. So have a fantastic day and stay hydrated.